So I hope you enjoyed that little clip I just put up there first. I can't believe it what you can do sometimes with a Mini 4 Pro and just using one, one stick really. So I called this the cruise with the orbit. <laughs> cruise control with the orbit. Um, I put up the guy that I saw this from and I thought it was amazing. Now guys, I'm not gonna go into the technical side. I just wanna show you the easiest way. But if you check out his channel, he goes into a lot more on the technical side, but I'm not into all the technical stuff. I just, I'm just amazed what you can do with an orbit in cruise control. Anyway, first thing you gotta do guys is get that drone up in the air and I've gotta feed the dog. <laughs> so the screen cords on. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we get the drone up in the air. Take off. And what we gotta do. Okay, what we're gonna do first, guys, we're gonna get the drone set up first. Sun's just going down just nicely. I'm just gonna get myself lined up with that building there. This is the old mine. I'm 27 feet off the ground at the moment. So I'm drawing the, bringing the drone back a bit. You see what I'm on about in a moment. Okay. Let's bring it up a bit more. Right, first thing you do is you put a box around what you want to go around the circle on. You see the spotlights up already. Now the other thing is make sure that your button's on cruise control so you've got a nice slow speed because it is it will happen straight away. You see what I'm on about in a moment. So what we do next is I'll turn on the video. Right, and now I'm gonna move the drone. Right, before I even do that, right, on the back of your controller, the C2. Now, if you watch my video I done a couple of months ago about how you do the setup for the C, the cruise control. Now, I've got mine set on my button. So as soon as I move that drone, which is just gonna happen now, as I move the drone forward, I just click on the C button and you can see already on the screen. Right. Okay. Now it does take a little while to get used to. But that looks pretty good already. <laughs> to be honest. Okay. So I'm only 35 feet. Now I've got to be careful now guys because there's some cape there's some pylons about. So I'm just raising it up a little bit so I know I'm not going to be knocking those. I've got my dog down here. It doesn't help. Right, so I'm going around the building. If you're watching my finger there, if you can see it, I've got it on the... to the bottom right there. So it's just going around. I'm bringing it into the middle so it's going around. And what I'll do once I get round, because what it is, there's some pylons here and I don't want to go into the, even though I, got, I know I've got my avoidance on. So we're just going around that building now. Now I could raise it up a little bit more because don't forget the gimbal is locked onto that building there. Okay, now I'm going to bring, I'm bringing my drone back now with that right stick. And as I'm doing that, it's revealing the background. You can see the sun, the sun, back there. Now I could have used them filters I suppose but I'm not into all that. But you get a gist of this now guys don't you? I'm just using that that finger there. Now for what obviously the left one all the left one is doing I can bring up a little bit more for one two. I mean that's plenty high enough and then bring that right strict stick to the middle there to bring it around I think it's such a, a a brilliant move, really, and and little effort because if you try to do this normally, you'd be messing about with the sticks, the gimbal. But I'm not even touching the gimbal, so I'm just bringing it around again and keeping that in the middle there, guys. And then as it's coming round, I bring it back on that stick now. So the drone's going backwards. Bring it back there a bit more because what I want to do is get that sun just sort of, it's going down now the sunset 
just gonna do it, bring it up a bit more. Okay, here we go. You can just see the sun now, just going down. And if I wanted to, I can drop that down a lot more now. We've got a couple of bubbles there, admittedly. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to double click. Well, I'm going to click off the cruise. So the cruise has been disabled now. I'm going to knock off the spotlight now. I'm then going to bring the drone back in and we'll have a quick chat. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I mean, it's amazing what you can do with just one stick and get a brilliant effect. So guys, go out there, give it a go. Let me know how you get on with it. Um, yeah, I'm really amazed what you can do sometimes with the uh, Mini 4 Pro. Anyway, as always, guys, stay flying and uh, there'll be another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.